the Honorable Member for Radisson. No one ever asks to experience tragedy. As parents, we try to shield our children from hardships. As teachers and coaches, we sometimes fear our kids aren't fully prepared for adversity. But despite our best efforts, as we all know, the harsh realities of life sometimes come crashing in, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's what the students and staff at the Bernie Wolf School Community School in my constituency recently experienced. This past January, one of their classmates, 12-year-old Mays Al Ishmael, died suddenly and unexpectedly of complications from a medical condition she had. Mays came to Winnipeg with her father Gadir and her mother Aya from Syria just two years ago, and the family is here with us today. By all accounts, she was a brave, kind, caring, and an amazing person, but now she is gone. Sadly, the tragedy of May's passing could not be avoided. Her classmates, her teachers, educational assistants, her younger brother Mohammed, who also attends Bernie Wolf, they did not have a choice about that. But what they could choose was how to respond to this tragedy, and they chose well. Since her passing, her teacher, Mrs. Megan McComber, educational assistant, Robin Millier, and all of the grade six, seven class of which she was a member, and they're all with us today in the gallery. They've chosen to honor May's faith, to honor her beliefs by spreading kindness and by giving to charity in her name. By having a bake sale and making a special lunch for staff, they've so far raised over $1,350 for the Children's Hospital and for Islamic Relief Canada. They chose not to cover up their pain, but instead to honor May's faith and spread kindness. They chose not to forget her death, but instead to pledge to remember and celebrate May's life. They chose to turn something tragic into something inspirational. They chose to take action and show leadership and make a difference. And to her family, I remind them that those who loved her before love her still, and that her spirit of kindness lives on in the students that you have here with us today. And for all of that, I choose to say thank you to them, and I invite all the MLAs here to do the same with me.